Grab Morning by the Biscuits. Well, it might even be a little warm to have your breakfast outside this morning. We are seeing temperatures into the low to mid-20s, but feeling already like the low 30s when you factor in the humidity. And lots of sunshine. We're looking at 26 for Toronto. Hamilton has the risk to see a few isolated thunderstorms. We can contribute a little bit of lake breeze convergence as well as daytime heating to see these cells firing up. And if you are traveling down towards the southwest through London and down towards Windsor, it is going to be hot, muggy with the risk of some storms. It is Monday. We are smack dab in the middle of July, and it is hot. It's yeah. summer, for sure. It is. I can yeah. see it on the streets. Not as much volume out there. Oh, yeah. A lot of people off on holidays, oh, having yeah. a good time. Well, we've got Kevin certainly having a good time. He's going to be fishing this morning. He's in Port Credit, joined by just a few guests. Kevin? Ready? Kevin's got his hands full this morning, that's for sure. <laughs> it's going to be hot and sticky temperatures into the 30s. Already feeling like the high 30s when you factor in the humidity, and it's just going to get worse. We have a Humidex advisory in place for all of southern Ontario. Temperatures feeling like the low 40s by the time you factor in the humidity. Now, we do have a risk for a few isolated thunderstorms later on this afternoon. You throw in some lake breeze convergence, you throw in the heat and the humidity. Any kind of spark of energy could be um, cause the cause for these thunderstorms to be firing up. The biggest threat is going to be isolated heavy downpours. For example, yesterday in Windsor, we just had this tiny little cell right over Windsor. It lasted for about three hours, but they received 57 millimeters of rain. Now, that's nothing in comparison to the great Toronto flood of last week, but still, we could still see some heavy rainfall. We do have a little bit of active weather coming in later on this week, and I've got the details coming up in your long range. But first, Tom, are people behaving themselves on the roads today? Yeah, for the most part. Sometimes a special friend makes all the difference. So when kids in Moore, Oklahoma lost everything to the tornado, how oh, sweet. Speaking of kids, Kevin Yard joins us with kids on a chartered fishing boat this morning. And Kevin, it looks as though you've got your hands full. It was just a matter of time. They have now upgraded the heat alert to an extreme heat alert. Cooling centers for the city of Toronto are open and in surrounding areas. If you want to find your cooling center, where to go, just head to my Twitter feed at EmilyTWN. We've got the list right there. Now, temperatures were really warm yesterday, not as warm as they're going to be today, but we got into the low 30s, and it felt like the high 30s with the Humanex. And today, it's going to be even hotter. What are your favorite ways to cool off? Somebody actually tweeted me that today. They wanted to know my five favorite ways to cool off. I said swimming, I said air conditioning, I said stay hydrated, I said I might as well eat some ice cream, <laughs> I said relax, don't do too much. And that's exactly what some people were doing yesterday. Yesterday, this is what the daytime highs look like throughout southern Ontario. Windsor got up to 31.9. Toronto, 31.3. It was hot. It was muggy. Now, we do have the risk of seeing a few isolated thunderstorms, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Here's the Humidex Advisory issued by Environment Canada. Hot, sticky, feeling closer to the low 40s when you factor in the humidity. We are going to be seeing lots of sunshine today, and the more sunshine we see, <laughs> all it needs is a little trigger, and we can see a few isolated thunderstorms, a little bit of lake breeze convergence, and again, thunderstorm activity could be happening. Most of the severe weather, however, is going to be happening in northeastern Ontario over towards southeastern Ontario, so Ottawa could see some stormy weather. Looking at the thunderstorm risk for today, they're going to be isolated, non-severe, and the biggest threat is going to be heavy downpours and some strong winds. Now, Tom, you've been looking at the roads. I'm guessing that most drivers would be smart and have their air conditioning on today. Hi there. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. It is hot. It is sunny. It is muggy. It is awesome. People is. love this heat. Yeah, we bring you the sun. <laughs> That's what we bring you. Sun. Okay. Lots of it. And uh, throw on the heat. It's, uh, it is a hot one. Okay, we hate that we have to remind people of this. I really do. But we have to remind people not to leave their pets and kids in the car. This is where your kids should be. They should be with Kevin fishing this morning. How's it going, Kevin? Thanks, Kevin. You see, that's exactly where... <laughs> Your kids shouldn't be <laughs> up close and personal this morning. Humidex advisory in place for southern Ontario stretches from Ottawa straight down towards Windsor. It is going to be hot, 
muggy, Humidex feeling closer to 40, and there is a risk for some isolated, non-severe thunderstorms firing up today. Add a little lake breeze, add a little heat, a little humidity, and all of that can just add fuel to the fire and escalate those thunderstorms. We'll talk more about your long-range forecast in a moment, but first, here's Tom. <laughs> I'm regular size now. All right, it is going to be hot. It's going to be sticky. 33 tomorrow, feeling like 43, and it's going to feel like 42 on Thursday. We start to see a bit of a break once we get to the weekend, Saturday, 26, and then Sunday. Look at that. It's going to feel freezing, 23 degrees. Hi there. Good morning. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks for joining us. Sometimes a special friend makes all the difference. So when kids in Moore, Oklahoma lost everything to the tornado. Speaking of kids, Kevin Yard joins us. He is live from a fishing charter in Mississauga. And Kevin, have you caught anything yet? Beautiful conditions this morning. If you like the heat and the humidity, you're really going to feel it. Temperatures already into the mid to high 20s and going to be feeling more like the mid to high 30s by noon hour and by the afternoon. We're looking at feeling like below 40. So make sure you eat your lunch in some air conditioning <laughs> or take it outside in the shade. It's going to be hot all the way down to the southwest and that's where we could see some isolated thunderstorms firing up. It's another hot one, that's for sure. Today, temperatures getting up into the low 30s, but feeling more like the 40s when you factor in the humidity. If you don't love the heat, try your best to stay cool today. And stay away from Winston Churchill on the 403 because we've got a car fully engulfed in flames right now. In here for the next little while, so uh, I believe there was another vehicle involved that may have gone off the road, so we'll update that. All right, well, let's check in with Kevin now, who's in Mississauga on Andrew's charter boat. And uh, Kevin, have you caught any fish yet? <laughs> Kevin, rough job, Kevin, rough job. <laughs> All right, let's turn things over to Tom. He has an update on traffic. Hot and humid for the remainder of the week. Risk of a few isolated thunderstorms. Again, we need to remind you, do not leave pets, kids, friends, loved ones in vehicles today. It is so hot, you could probably bake cookies. I may even try that. Cool down coming up by the weekend. Ah, yes, the honeymoon. One of the best things about getting married, really. <laughs> if you're off to any of these destinations, we've got sunshine and warm temperatures. Antigua, mix of sun and cloud. I was just there in February, and oh, I don't know if I'll ever go anywhere else. It was stunning. 31 degrees in through Aruba. It's hot. It's sunny. Seeing a daytime high of 33. Jamaica looking great. And Kingston, 33. And nothing but sunshine. And Bahamas, a little bit of overcast. If you can, try and find yourself a nice spot in the shade this afternoon, if you're not at work, that is. We are going to be seeing the heat and the humidity continue to rise throughout the day today. Yesterday was hot. A lot of people got out, sat by the water, find, found themselves a nice shady spot to enjoy their breaks. Anything else? Yesterday, this is what our daytime highs look like, 31.4 through Borden in Toronto, 31.3. Down towards the southwest, it was hot, it was sticky, and we did see a few isolated thunderstorms. Now, we do have that Humidex advisory issued by Environment Canada still in place today, and it looks as though it's going to stick around possibly for most of the week. It's hot, it's sticky, feeling closer to the low 40s when you factor in the humidity. Sunshine throughout the day today, a couple of cloudy periods, and all we need is that daytime heating, throwing a little bit of lake breeze convergence, and we could see some isolated cells firing up. Now, yesterday in Windsor, we saw a cell sit over the area for about three hours and gave about 57 millimeters of rain, so nothing compared to what Toronto saw last Monday, but still quite a bit of rain in a short period of time. Localized flooding could certainly be an issue. That's our biggest threat with the thunderstorms that we could see today, so strong winds and heavy downpours. We're going to talk about your long-range forecast, get you closer to the weekend in just a few minutes. But first, here's Tom with traffic. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's another hot, sticky, muggy day. Temperatures getting back up into the 30s, but feeling like the 40s when you factor in the humidity. Yesterday, everybody was trying to get a break from the heat by sitting outside in the shade, sitting by the water. What are your favorite ways to cool down? Somebody actually tweeted me that question this morning, and I said, well, go swimming if I can. Maybe sit in some air conditioning, make sure I stay hydrated, drink lots of water. 
maybe indulge in a little bit of ice cream <laughs> or just sit around and relax, which is exactly what some people were doing yesterday down by the water. Absolutely gorgeous conditions if you like the heat and humidity. Yesterday, some of the daytime highs we saw throughout southern Ontario. Borden got up to 31.4, Toronto 31.3, and through Bancroft, Ottawa, everybody hit the low 30s, but it actually felt more like the high 30s when you factored in the humidity. Now, we do have a Humidex advisory in place. Environment Canada is warning people to take it easy in this type of heat, again, feeling more like the low 40s, and unfortunately, if you don't love it, it's going to continue. We are going to be seeing the heat, the humidity rise throughout the day today and into tomorrow and it's really not going to give us a break until the weekend. Now we do have a risk for a few isolated pop-up thunderstorms. You throw in a little bit of lake breeze convergence plus the daytime heating, lots of sunshine. Any little spark of electricity could trigger off these cells but there's there looks as though they're going to be non-severe in nature and again very isolated. Biggest threat that we may have to deal with is going to be intense heavy downpours just around the GTA. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is another hot, sticky, humid, muggy, wonderful summer day. Now, if you don't like the heat and the humidity, then you're going to want to stay indoors, get in some air conditioning, drink lots of water, stay in the shade if you have to be outside. We do have a Humidex advisory in place. It stretches from Ottawa all the way down towards Windsor. So. Keep in mind, temperatures are going to be into the 30s, but feeling more like the 40s when you factor in the humidity. And we do have that risk of a few isolated thunderstorms throughout the day today. They're going to be non-severe in nature, but we could be seeing a couple of them pop up here and there. We've got Kevin Yard joining us. Uh, he has been out and about in Port Credit this morning. And Kevin, joining us live from the charter boat, have you caught any fish yet? Yesterday, some of the daytime highs we saw throughout southern Ontario. Borden got up to 31.4, Toronto 31.3, and through Bancroft, Ottawa, everybody hit the low 30s, but it actually felt more like the high 30s when you factored in the humidity. Now, we do have a Humidex advisory in place. Environment Canada is warning people to take it easy in this type of heat, again, feeling more like the low 40s, and unfortunately, if you don't love it, it's going to continue. We are going to be seeing the heat, the humidity rise throughout the day today and into tomorrow and it's really not going to give us a break until the weekend. Now we do have a risk for a few isolated pop-up thunderstorms. You throw in a little bit of lake breeze convergence plus the daytime heating, lots of sunshine. Any little spark of electricity could trigger off these cells but there's, there looks as though they're going to be non-severe in nature and again very isolated. Biggest threat that we may have to deal with is going to be intense heavy downpours just around the GTA.